Minecraft is a game full of mystery. At face value, you might not notice anything strange or eerie about it, but if you're an avid player, you will definitely understand that this game has plenty of disturbing secrets. From the dark abandoned mineshafts to the ominous nether, I'm sure you've probably got spooked at one point or another. However, there's something specific in this game that beats out everything else. Only because it's so simple, yet can cause so much anxiety. Everyone, I present to you the story behind the one and only I was one of the few people who didn't play Minecraft back in its prime. In fact, I only began playing it a few months ago, but due to a very specific reason. You see, there's these ambient sounds that occur in the game, depending on where you are and what you're doing. Most of these sounds are pretty normal, some of them even quite relaxing. But there's one set of 19 sounds that may occur if you dig below the game world, and these are known as the Minecraft cave sounds. These sounds are based around a simple algorithm that can only occur in dark or underground areas. This algorithm exists on a 0 to 100% mood rating. If the player gets this mood to 100%, a random sound plays and the value resets. This value increases the more you explore into a cave or dark area and will decrease by doing the opposite. But what makes these sounds so eerie? Well, there's two reasons in my opinion. The first is the atmosphere. If you happen to be playing alone, going into a dark cave can be quite daunting. Especially if you're ill-equipped. You see, behind this darkness lies many creepy features. And no, I'm not talking about the monsters, but the eerie residue of civilizations left behind. When exploring the underground, there's a slight chance you may come across a series of man-made corridors and mineshafts. These are computer-generated obviously, but when paired with the sudden jolt of a cave sound, it leaves you feeling uneasy, disturbed to be exact. Even though there's no one around, these sounds in these once inhabited locations will have you spinning your camera in circles, only to try and find something that isn't there. But this leads us into the second reason, and it has to do with why these mines are completely abandoned. Have you ever heard of the Minecraft crash theory? If not, it has been a semi-popular topic throughout the years that attempts to explain these 19 peculiar sounds. To summarize, it basically describes the eerie sounds as ghostly echoes of a tragic accident. That being, a crash that caused the death of multiple miners. Yes, I know this sounds a bit exaggerated, especially because this is just a game after all. However, I'm going to play each of the 19 sounds one by one for you, with a description of what this theory states you should be hearing. After listening to all 19 tracks, let me know what you think on the theory. But without further ado, Let's dive in.
So, did you happen to hear the alleged echoes of a catastrophic crash? I can see where a few of these sounds may ring true. It gets even creepier if you put sounds 1 and 14 into a spectrogram, as you will notice the face of a creeper etched into the frequencies. But regardless if this theory is true or not, the clips are still quite unnerving, especially if you find yourself wandering the mines alone. However, these 19 audio clips aren't the only strange sounds found in Minecraft, as there is something much, much more chilling that haunts the game. There are 13 unique discs that when found may be played in a jukebox. Most of them consist of catchy tunes and relaxing ambience, but there are two of them that stand out from the rest. Disc 13 is an unsettling ambient track that plays a mix of cave sounds, metallic clinks, blowing wind, and explosions. It's a major contrast from the rest of the music heard on the other discs. But it still isn't as scary as disc 11. This one physically appears to be smashed to pieces, but is still somehow playable. And if you put it inside your music player, it sounds like nothing else found in the game. The audio begins with what sounds to be like someone running, then taking a break to use some sort of item. They cough, then begin to run again, but this time faster. Strange noises can be heard throughout the track before the disc eventually ends with what sounds to be barking and the wind blowing. Although the cave sounds can be quite disturbing, disc 11 is definitely one of the strangest pieces of audio found in the game. Many have speculated it to be a player encountering an enderman, as its sounds have been said to be subtly heard in the background. However, some have even theorized disc 11 is actually a recording of a Herobrine attack. This even gets more unusual when the audio is put into a spectrograph where you'll find the numbers 1, 2, 4, 1, 8, and an image of the default character, Steve, who shares an uncanny resemblance to the legendary ghost figure, Herobrine. But in the end, these Minecraft sounds are only there to intimidate you. Although the atmosphere these tunes bring can be unsettling at times, they only exist for dramatic effect. But the next time you go down in the mines, make sure to always look behind you, because you just never know what kind of creature could be breathing down your neck. Just a quick side note before I go, I now have merchandise for sale which includes this redacted face mask, a t-shirt, and a hoodie. You can get any of these items, plus more, by clicking their image below the video description or by visiting the store on my channel. Additionally, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you haven't yet, as I'm a lot more human and less of a disembodied voice on those platforms. But, as always, Thank you for watching, and good night.